nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, time for some eight ball. Eight ball, finally. So I quit the straight pool. I don't want. I don't want anything to do to do with straight pool anymore. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Eight ball is a little better. Okay, you can still use the strategy, and you still need to play with the, with skill. For eight ball, you need some skill. For straight pool, you don't need skill, but you need some pattern play. Okay, so ten ball is something in between nine ball and straight pool. You still need you still need those accurate position shots, and you still need the pattern play. So let's see what we will get. Here. Random layout, and uh, we put the, the cue ball there. So what will we pick? This is, this is the first video. Should we pick uh, solids or stripes? We pick the solids, of course. We pick the solids, and uh, we need to. The, the eight ball needs to be done last, so we want to save these balls here for last. I see the seven is a problem. Okay, I want to fix the seven. Seven is a problem because uh, you can't make it in a side because the ten is in the way, and I don't like that. So I think I, I'll just make the seven, then the four, then the five, then the two. The problem is this, it's a three ball here. Three is the problem, I did not see that. We can't make the three in that corner pocket. We can't do that. So I would need to hit, I would need to make the six ball first and, and save the three ball there late, for later. So what I see here is that I will just make a seven uh, position from the two ball to the three can be tricky if you are here. You need to go between the uh, the eleven and the eight position for the one ball. That can be tricky. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it might be might be tricky here. You can uh, you can make a stop chat on the two, make the four in the side. You can do that as well. And, but position for the three ball is tough because these, these balls are in the way. You, you might get snooker here later, so I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And uh, yeah, I need to fix that, that six ball over there. If I fail somewhere, then at least I can make the three ball in the corner. So I will make the seven first. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close one. I make the six ball over here, and um, maybe I will, I will play position from the six to the to the one ball. Maybe I will do that, and I will keep the uh, three as a, as the last ball. Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, this is getting tough now. I would like to go this path with the cue ball for the four, but I might get a scratch here, so I'm worried about that. That's what I'm worried about. And uh, I might get to keep the two, two last and draw back the cue ball for the eight, but I don't like that. There's a long, long distance position shot. I don't like that. So I'll just uh, get in position from the three ball to the one. It might be tricky later. So I think I'll, I'll just make the one ball after, after the six. Like that. That is good. And now it is a safe way to play position for the four. Okay, because there's no risk of stretching, so I will do that. There you go. And I can pick the two ball here or the four ball. I will pick the four ball here first. Okay. I can if I hit the 15 ball there, I have a shot on the five, the three, and the two ball. So Nothing really can go wrong here. I can just go hit the rail there, come out here. I have a shot on any ball. I can uh, I can choose. There you go. Now I have a shot on every ball here. I have a two ball, five ball, three ball. I can pick what I want. And uh, I might want to pick the five ball here. Okay, it's, it's a tougher shot. 
But if I pick the two ball, I might have a difficult time getting position for the five. I might have a backup ball. If I fail to get good position on the five, I don't have any other ball to as a backup. Okay. And also position from from the five uh, to the three can be tricky if I don't have a good good position. I want to be straight in on the three ball. And going back from the two ball to the three, it is quite easy there. So I can do that. And uh, here, here when I play position from the five, uh, maybe I want to hit the 15 ball, move the 15 here, okay? Because then I would have cleared, I would have cleared this area to play position for the three ball. Because right now the 15 is in the way. So I can't be here with the cue ball because the 15 is here. I would need to be here on the three ball. And then I need to play position to that side of the eight and the, the 11 ball is blocking the, the eight ball there and I don't like that. I want to clear out this area. I want to hit the 15. So if I hit, hit the 15 on the wrong side, I still have a shot on the two. If I hit the 15 on this uh, this side, I will have a shot on the three. So this is a, bit, 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 this is a good, good choice. There you go, I hit the 15. I hit the 15 on that side. I can make the three ball right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm snooked by the 15, so I, I can't make the two. I will make the three ball. So I got to keep the two two ball last here, but that is not a not big of a problem because I can, I can be here on the eight, okay? I can go around the table, one, two, three rails for the eight. I can, I can do that. So. And uh, I can also draw back the cue ball from the the two ball if I'm here. Uh, yeah. I I would really really like to have more angle on the two, but if I draw back the cubicle from the two three ball, I might be snooker than the 15 and I don't want that. So I would rather be fuller, fuller on the two ball here. And uh, the problem is that if you draw back the cue ball from here, you might just look at the 15. So I would like to be fuller on the two ball. Be fuller on the two ball, like this, there. Okay, I want to go a little, little further with the with the cue ball. You use a half a tip of right spin. Yeah, a little further with the cue ball. There, that's very nice. Now I will draw back the cue ball here. Uh, yeah, can be a tough shot here. I might hit the 15 pin on the way back. Very tough shot here. If I hit it wrong, I'm gonna, going to end up snooker here. So I don't like that as well. I don't like I don't like this so much. Can be a risky shot. There you go, perfect. There you go. That's the shot right there. I hit it just just a little bit of the rail before it went in. Just a little bit. There you go. Now the game is over. Okay. Last ball. Eight ball. There we go, and the game is over. And that is how you run the rack. That is how you run the rack. Uh, yeah. There we go. Should I make another video or not? Do I have a recording? I don't have much recording left, so... This is going to be the end of the video. Okay, so... That was the in introduction. The first video. First video of 8 Ball. You can learn a lot about eight ball, and I ran the rack. Uh, I didn't. I didn't make any miss. I didn't make any miss. I had many backup plans, and I I, I reevaluated the rack between every shot. So I took a different uh, took different strategy between every shot. I did everything all, all over again and look at looked at the rack instead of uh, being in the past and following your, your your original strategy i just re-evaluated everything and analyzed everything i did everything over and over again between every shot okay and that is how you win the game that is how you are going to to win and beat your opponents because your your opponents they are they make very rash decisions they make it very quick they try to follow their original plan and then they fail eventually because 
they, they don't want to change their minds later that they maybe admit that they made a mistake they just want to continue on that path on that path for failure but if you re-evaluate the rack every, between every shot you have a greater chance of winning the game okay so this is the end of the video until next time goodbye there's nothing else in life than pool play pool play pool